While VR and gaming is only just beginning to boom, there have been some stellar games released for gamers on PSVR, Oculus, and Vive. If jumping into the world of VR is something that you're eager to do, you're definitely going to want to give these games on this list a try. Now, for the sake of this list, we've tried to avoid some of the more major mainstream VR titles that have been adapted from non VR platforms in hopes to introduce you guys to some new awesome content. So, with that in mind, let's jump into our list of the top 10 VR games. Number 10, The Lab. Considered by some to be a VR classic, The Lab is a free game available on Steam. It's a compilation of Valve's scale VR experiments, set in a pocket universe with aperture science. It's a game that offers a versatile amount of VR experiences all in one. Tasks include the likes of defending a castle with a bow and arrow, fixing a robot, adopting a mechanical dog, exploring a highly detailed model of the human body built from a series of CT medical scans, and traveling to exotic locations. While each individual game isn't overly lengthy, the diversity it provides is great for anyone when looking to explore the capabilities of VR and just feel it out. Up next, number 9, Fantastic Contraption. Based off of the 2008 version of the game, the VR version of Fantastic Contraption gave it new life, and plopped players into a surreal world that's all about using your creativity to build phenomenal structures and objects. You're given a puzzle to solve, and with zero limitations, you can build whatever contraption you think is capable of solving it, with no right or wrong answers. With 50 levels, infinite solutions, and the ability to play with physics, Fantastic Contraption is a game that rewards you for using your imagination, and is perfect for those who Love a blank canvas to play with. Up next, number eight, I expect you to die. Deemed as an escape the room puzzle game, you play as a spy and have to work with your environment in order to avoid getting yourself killed on missions. In the world of the game, all of your spy predecessors have, so the survival rate is pretty slim. It's been hailed as a game that really makes the most of the VR medium, and perfect for those who appreciate tongue in cheek humor mixed with a taste of classic spy films. In at number seven, Super Hot VR. Crafted by indie developers, Super Hot was initially a 2016 first person shooter game. While it follows traditional FPS gameplay mechanics, only for Progresses forward when you, the player, moves. Time only moves when you do. This was translated into VR with Super Hot VR. Except your avatar reacts based on your body's movements. For players who always want to reenact a slow motion gunfight, Super Hot VR is definitely up your alley. Plus, it's won a ton of video game awards and nominations. Not too shabby. Up next, number six, Robo Recall. If Super Hot isn't really your cup of tea, but you're craving that VR first person shooter experience, Robo Recall may be for you. Aside from its stellar design, this game for the Oculus from Epic Games allows you to go after rogue robots in a super Super realistic city environment. Jam packed with action and exploding robots, you play an agent whose mission is to recall those robots by means of destroying them in many different ways. Shoot them, rip them apart, toss them around at each other, it's entirely up to you, as long as it gets the job done. And at number five, Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. The Rick and Morty team have always been impressed with their satirical and well developed takes on popular games. Remember Pocket Mortys? Yeah, genius. They've done it again, but in the realm of VR, with Rick and Morty Virtual Rickality. It's essentially a job simulator, but Rick and Mortyized, meaning it's hilarious and absurd and overall wonderful. Up next, number four, The Climb. Described as the VR game for those who want to climb cliffs but lack the upper body strength to do it in real life, The Climb is a straightforward game that allows you to explore cliffs in gorgeous locations without ever having to leave the comfort of your home. Despite having a simple objective, the game requires you to pay attention to the detail and precision necessary for completing your climb. It's a great game for those of you who want to feel like Nathan Drake, but could do without bullets and enemy projectiles flying your way. It's also quite an active game, meaning you'll be up and at it quite a bit while playing, and it really engages you with the physicality of what a climb of that sort would be like, which is super cool in itself. Up next, number three, Arizona Sunshine. Another shooter on our list, Arizona Sunshine offers players a well-developed zombie apocalypse experience. That takes place in Arizona, of course. Using weapons that are motion controlled, the game provides one of the closest realistic experiences to what an actual zombie apocalypse would be like. The main goal is survival. Ammo is scarce, and if you miss your target, there are dire consequences. In addition to that, there's a co-op option that lets you and a buddy work together to fight off zombies. Speaking of co-op, in at number two, Star Trek Bridge Crew. Bridge Crew is the best example of how VR can work cooperatively to date. Crafted by Ubisoft and Red Storm, Bridge Crew is a game that lets you and your pals work together to command a starship that runs into a few obstacles on its voyage. You can even play with friends across the globe, all to explore the final frontier together. Plus, the game also features many familiar characteristics of the Star Trek universe that fans and newbies alike will enjoy. And finally, in our number one spot, Lone Echo. A game for the Oculus Rift, Lone Echo takes place in October 2126 on the Cronus 2 mining platform on the rings of Saturn with a zero-gravity gameplay experience. If that didn't sell you immediately, you're playing 
playing as an artificially intelligent robot named Echo One, aiding a human captain and keeping her company while you work on the mining station. And of course, things go haywire. Lone Echo won the best VR game from the 2017 E3 Game Critics Award. There's also a multiplayer mode, and it's notably one of the biggest blockbuster VR games to date. All right, there we have it, friends. Which of these games are you dying to try? Do you have a VR headset, and have you given any of these a go? Let us know all your thoughts and feels in those comments below. As always, if you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons, and make sure you check out the videos that we have in our playlist that's currently flashing on your screen. Go on, give it a click. We have a ton of other gaming videos just waiting for you to watch them. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. Catch you all in the next one. Thank you.